Y'all, I need to start paying attention to shit when I read it. Well, I didn't even read it. I just saw cat food that would be here in the morning. Because the babies didn't have any more wet food. So, <laughs> I had to order some. And I had to order it prime so it would be here for their breakfast. Because I knew I was going to sleep late. I was up late last night. And, um... <laughs> I saw this new low brand... And I think I did this before, and I and I probably did with the other food, I feel like. And I ordered it, cause, and then this morning, I, like, come downstairs, and I said, my cat food was delivered. And I said, oh, okay, cool. And I'm, like, looking and looking and looking, and I'm, like, where is the cat food? Because I'm expecting, like, the frisky size can <laughs> box. And I'm, like, looking and looking, and I couldn't find it. And I'm, like, where the fuck is this box? And then I noticed that there was a package on my table. Hubby had put um, two packages over there. And I'm like, I picked the one up because it looked, it was the cat food. Do you see how tiny these cans are? These are the small cans. I was like, oh, my aching ass. So it took me three cans to feed them. And they are tearing this food up. It was like $22 for those foods. Like if I could if I could legitimately afford the brand, I would, but to get it once in a while for a treats, okay? But it's funny cuz we've gotten like the um hubby has gotten like the blue, I think it's blue diamond and we got that other brand that Woodland that like from the pet stores and stuff. They don't eat that shit like they do the other stuff. So that's why we don't normally get it. It's wild. Okay. Is there water in here? It better be because I know I filled this sucker up. Um, I know I filled this sucker up. Give me a strong cup of coffee. <sighs> All right. I wanted to get up a little bit earlier. Um, it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock right now. Um, I still need to edit the vlog because I wasn't worried about it last night. So I need to edit and I need to get... Because I don't know how long the beef jerky... I thought that there would be... Well, you know what? There might be something in between the... I didn't even check last night. In between the... Uh, what are those called? The racks? For the... Um, like... Drying tubs and stuff. For me... Ugh... Um, uh, This is on the floor. Oh, I need to add. I have to work. I have to work on the grocery list. I guess hubby didn't want to go. He didn't want to go shopping. Well, it's not that he didn't want to go. He has one of the work trucks because his truck is in the shop. And um His truck is in the shop, so I was just like, you know. Also, fun update you guys really didn't want or need. You guys know how I always talk about that big sore in my nose. I have been so good. Tag is itching me. And I've left it alone for a week, and it's almost fully healed. Well, I left it alone a long, little longer than a week. But it's finally almost healed. 
because I haven't been messing with it because it was so painful. And now I can like touch my nose before I couldn't even do that. Oh, let me share what I got because y'all know how I roll. Oh, okay. Is this the only ones? I think I, no, I think I have something coming tomorrow. So, you know me and my makeup looks. Is this legit just glitter? I thought that this was like a... Alright, so I ordered this, like, so you guys know how I use the Jeffree Star Liquid Shadow. And I use it all the time, um, the, especially the white one. And I was just like, oh, you know. Like, I really like it. But um, I don't think he has it in stock right now. So I was like, what can I get to replace it that's actually cheaper? And so I really like NYX. And this is glitter, metallic glitter. But I thought it was a gel. But it's not. It's just literally glitter. That's just all it is. Because I thought it said no glue needed. Well, this was only $6. I think this one was on sale for 5 so. But still. So then, e.l.f. has liquid glitter eyeshadow. The e.l.f. brand. So I was like, ooh. And these were $6 a piece. And I was like, let me see. So I got black. I know I have black with Jeffrey. His, his is like a black and blue. And then, um, but the black, it's like black with blue glitter. But there, I don't know how well you can see that sparkle. I don't want to swatch it yet, but. So I think I got more of these, to be honest. I think the rest of them are coming. So I got the black. Um, oh, I can't check my orders. But yeah, so I got the black. So we'll see. But I'm sad that NYX wasn't a uh, liquid. Because it said no glue needed. Is it just because it's so fine? I don't know. Alright guys, I need to go edit the vlog. So I will see you guys here shortly and uh, we'll do our color of the day. I want to get it all done by noon um, because wifey said she only had people in the books till noon and she said, so when I text you to get ready, she's like, I mean, get ready. So I was like, oh, fuck, okay. Sounds good to me. Where is this? Because I would love to see this. I love the nature pictures on my computer in the morning. Look at this. Look at this picture. Like, does that not want to make you just jump right the fuck in there and sit on that dock and just soak up nature? Like, the wind element and water element just all just right there. God damn, that's beautiful. All right, it says, learn more about this picture. Let's learn more. Oh, it's in Southern Europe. It's Great Pres Prespa Lake. The tri-point of North Macedon Macedonia, Albania, and Greece lies the surface of the Great Prespa Lake. Hmm, beautiful. Fucking gorgeous. I knew that shit wasn't here. I love this because you go to click on the thing that like it tells you about the picture and it says find your hotel near Great Presby Lake find flights things to do you hear a travel guide it is gorgeous but oh my goodness uh alright on that note 
All right, guys, let me go get your vlog edited. I'll see you soon. All right, y'all. It is time for this week's weekly reading. The vlog still is not uploaded. I just checked. I'm like, what is taking so long? What is taking so long? So it says it's still got so much time left i don't know all right so this is this week's reading weekly reading i think i might get the other book so that way we can do i feel like i read more of the other book than i do this book oh it is april i'm like where am i going i'm already going to may just trying to skip a whole damn month okay so it is today is the sixth right yes yeah, saturday the sixth okay so today is tartan day we are in waning moon moon phase fourth quarter the color is indigo uh our moon sign is in pisces and the incense for today is sage sunday it is motherhood and beauty day it is an armenian holiday and the color will be yellow tomorrow the moon will enter Aries at 7.25 a.m. And the incense tomorrow is marigold. All right, Monday. I need like all the colors and good juju vibes because we are in testing season now at, at, at work. And oh my gosh, I hate it. It's like the worst, most boring, like time drags so much. Okay. It is Hana Mas. It's a, a Japanese holiday. The new moon begins at 2.21 p.m. The color, oh yeah, and it's the eclipse on Monday at 2.21. So not only is it going into the new moon at 2.21, it's the eclipse. Plus we're a Mercury retrograde. Anyway, the color Monday is gray and the incense is rosemary. Tuesday Ramadan ends um and then we are in the moon phase the first quarter the color will be white moon enters Taurus at 7 23 a.m and the incense is cinnamon Wednesday is siblings day uh the color will be brown and the incense is lilac Thursday it's Juan Santa Maria Day. It's a Costa Rican holiday. The color is oh turquoise. Um, and the moon enters Gemini at 8:59 a.m. The incense is nutmeg. Friday is Children's Day. It is a Bolivian and Haiti Haitian Haitian holiday. The color is rose. Moon sign, of course, is Gemini. Um, incense is rose. Oh, so that only is the color rose, but the incense is rose as well. Next Saturday, it is a Thai New Year, ends April 15th, and the color will be black, one of my favorite colors. The moon sign is Gemini. Uh, it enters Cancer at 1.45 p.m. Ooh, and the incense is sandalwood. My favorite, 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 most favorite incense is sandalwood and the only place i like to get them from is uh um there's this website it's called blunt power yes you heard me correct blunt power and um they have the best sandalwood incense in my opinion in my opinion i just love the way it smells and it's just absolutely absolutely amazing so so yeah but yeah i'm still waiting for the damn vlog to upload so i can publish it it says three hours but it's not going to be three hours i need to put on a video or something because i don't know what that trick is but i'm glad i discovered it because it is what it is so all right so let me go i don't know what time wifey gets off she says she gets off at noon it's like 11 something so i'll see y'all after bed it is time for a tamu tamu haul timu T fuck i just dropped heavy shit 
Oopsie. Whoopsie. Okay. So, Binkies, please kindly fuck off. I love you, but you are on my nerves so bad. Please, go away. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Let me make sure I'm not exposing myself. Ugh. All right. First of all, I got this package. So, this is the other e.l.f. Um, eyeliner or liquid eyeshadow that I got from Amazon. So, this just came. They're so tiny, but there's that. And I got it like, I think this is like the silver or white or whatever. And they had a white and I didn't order the white because I thought that the NYX shit was going to be good. Okay. All right. Let me, so I have a very big package now. This is going to be a little different because I ordered some home goods. Okay, we'll have to see about this. So, the first thing, okay, this is just not to fall. Alright, so. Oh my gosh, okay. This is a rug. So, I ordered this because I just wanted to see how it was. It wasn't that expensive, okay? And this, me and hubby have matching tattoos. And it is literally this, if I can remember, I'll take a picture of my tattoo and post it up here for you guys. Um, so we have matching tattoos. And when I was on the Tamu, I saw this. And I was trying to find other stuff with this pattern, but I couldn't find anything else. And I did some measuring because I'm like, how in the hell is this going to come? But now I see how it came. So I think this was, I don't remember the size and the measurements. Oh, my aching ass. Come on. Ugh. Oh, it has like a little gripper back. It's definitely printed. Okay. All right. Now that it's out of the package, here, let's adjust you guys. And see what we got. Here is the carpet. A little Timu carpet. Look at that. Would you look at it? The back has like these grippy things on it. And it's actually like, I don't know how well you can tell. There's like a pattern on it. I'm trying to get some light to it. But there's like a little pattern on it. But isn't that pretty? Oh God, I almost tripped over Callie's bowl. But that's the carpet. And you figure I'm 5'4". So it's about as tall as me. So, so yeah, but the texture of it, of course, it's not like an actual carpet. It's kind of like, see the texture? It's definitely like a screen printed rug. But yeah, so I'm actually going to go put this in the living room because that's what I bought it for. But part of me, I don't think this will fit in my room between my bed and stuff but i'm gonna go put this in the living room i'm sorry if now this this is gonna have like weird energy i'm just annoyed like i knew why he was coming home and we were gonna go shopping but it's like now hubby decided he wanted to go to the other walmart but i guess we're still going shopping i, I don't fucking know so it's like can i just live my life okay all right, so this is, you can't really see it very well, but this is a happy Mother's Day um, cookie impression thing. I thought it was really cute with the hands and it comes with like a square cookie cutter. So I got that. I thought I had two of them, which I'm sure that they're in here. 
I don't even remember everything that I got. And then I also got these cute little cat earrings. Of course, I had to throw some earrings up in there. Okay, what is this? What is this? Oh, these are the pillow things? So I have some pillows, but these look very rough. So I have some like little throw pillows. And they're kind of old. So I saw these um, pillow cover things that you put your throw pillow in. And it's kind of like it kind of matches the rug a little bit. So I got those, it's like a whole set. Like, aren't they cute? I think they're so pretty. Look at that one. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then there's that one, that one's really light. No, it's dark, you just hear. You can see it better like that. That one's pretty too. This one's kind of my favorite because it kind of matches the carpet. But these are like a nice, like, canvasy type material. But I don't know how bad the cats are going to scratch it up. So I'm going to put those over there. All right. Next we have, what is this? Oh, these are the curtains. Yes. So I ordered curtains. Like I said, this is all different stuff I've never ordered from Timu before. I like branched out a little bit. Or is this the shower curtain? I ordered a shower curtain and I ordered curtains. Nope, these are the curtains. It should be two panels. I don't know, okay. So this is the one side of the curtain. And then this is the other side. So I got these for my bedroom. So I'll see how they work out. But I thought this was like, I had the ruler. They might be a little short, I don't know. But I wanted to make sure they were black out because hubby likes to sleep in the dark. So I might put one up and see how dark it is. Oh, what is this? This is, oh, this is my hair towel. I thought this was in the last haul. It was supposed to be in the last haul, but it wasn't. So I use, it's so funny because I have a towel that I use for my hair that is as old as Brayden, if not older. I have, actually, I have two hair towels. I had three. Oh, dear I God. actually had three different hair towels and um, two were NASCAR towels that I got when I worked at Walmart back in like 2000. So, yeah, these towels are like 20 years old. I have one left that I still use for my hair because it's so thin. And then the other towel I use is a Braden Sesame Street towel from when he was a baby. And so I use those towels a lot. But this is an actual microfiber hair towel with the the doodad and you know you just put it you flip your hair over but i'd have to make sure this is here you know and then you just you know wrap your hair up as one would and then you put it back in the elastic to hold it because that's my thing I'll because I will walk around the house like this I mean clearly my hair is like not you know whatever but um but yeah so I got me a nice little hair towel okay what is this that's like bent what else did I get oh my gosh oh a screen thing oh these are the glow in the dark these are glow in the dark screen savers I wanted to try those because I'm like those are cool so these are glow in the dark screen protectors so I wanted to see if they worked and like I, di I just wanted to say okay all right here is my other curtain 
those will have to go upstairs. All right. It's like bags and bags. And it's like tapes on everything. All right, so here is my shower curtain. I always end up throwing these away and recycling because I don't use these. I have metal ones that I use. But I also got a new shower curtain. I am a shower curtain whore. I love shower curtains. Let's see what this one is. Okay. I like fabric ones. So this one I got for like the spring. Something springy. And it's a moth. It's got the moon phases up at the top with some flowers. And it has a big, beautiful moth on it. Can you guys see? And it has like the moon phases on the bottom, of course. With like a crystal. So I'm not really a big fan of moths. I do love a lunar moth. That's like one of my favorite moths. I had to do something a little, little different. And hubby wanted the bathroom blue. I didn't want a blue bathroom. Our black bathroom used to be purple. But I just wanted more of like a neutral bath bathroom. So now I have to find stuff with blue. Oh, this one is a Happy Father's Day cookie cutter set. So these things, let me tell you. So I think these are like five bucks. These are like 20 or so dollars on, um, there's this one Instagram account that I watch and they use these all the time for like their cakes, their cupcakes and stuff like that for their, um, it's sweet sticks, sweet stinks dot U A U. I, I have some of the sweet stick stuff, like their stuff's really, really good. Uh, but they use a lot of these and these are like five bucks on Timu. So you can imagine what the other companies and shit are charging for these. So this is just like a cute little thing. And then I'll probably end up recycling this because I don't need all those damn square cookie cutters. What is this? Oh, I found a different um, like piping like I could use chocolate or fondant like you know when you pipe um but I found different like little designs what is this oh okay hold on what is this what is this what's this what's this Timu is in the air It's my sink thing. Okay, so this is gonna sound crazy, but I always have to clean up behind my sink because the water and stuff gets back there and it's gross. So this goes on your drain and the water runs down and out. So it will sit on top of your drain thing so like all the water and shit doesn't go back there. Cause I was like, what the fuck is that? So I saw that. Okay, I don't know what this is. There's like a bunch of little stuff in here now. And I just want to make sure that I get it all. Okay. Did I not get... Okay. Alright, I think that's it. Hold on. Okay. So the next thing I got is this Apple watch band. Oh, my aching ass. Oh, that's to like adjust it. So it is this beautiful rainbow chrome metal watch band. Yeah, I'll probably have, oh, maybe not, I don't know. But I love rainbow chrome and it's got a little bling bling to it. So, I thought that was pretty and it comes with the little tool to take some of the links out and it's got like some of the other pieces. This is really nice. I don't think I paid that much for this either, but that's really fucking pretty because I always get the silicone, but I don't know, like we'll see. Maybe it is a little big, but maybe I'll have to take a link out, but that's really fucking pretty. I don't know. How well you guys can see that. It's still got plastic on it too, protecting it. There you go, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So 
swear. So. Wifey's going to make me commit homicide today. I swear to God. Um, it's not going to take much. Okay. Two, three more things. So you guys know I'm on like this phone case journey. So I found this phone case. Look how cute this is. It's kind of flimsy though, so I don't know. Mm, that's kind of, but it's cute. So I don't know. I do like this phone case. It's really pretty. So I think this was, of course, only a few dollars. And then the last, oh no, this is not last. I also found this phone case, but I thought it was like already put together. Look how cute. Oh, they do they press it with? that in there but it's a watermelon but it's clear so I don't know because my phone is actually purple so I don't know but it's like clear and then it's got like the pop socket that goes on it so I don't know we'll see I'll put them on and see how they look because I don't have a white phone or a silver phone I have a purple one so I didn't know it wasn't it was see-through all right what is this I don't know what this is. Oh, it's my light. I forgot about this. Okay. So here is the base. And it is a cat on the moon. Like one of these like little crystal balls. And it's a cat sitting on the moon because I was thinking of my beloved Luna Bean when I got this, when I put this in the cart and it's a an angel cat. So I was thinking about Luna and then it sits on this wooden base and it's a USB and this will light up. So I'll have to do that later, but is she not beautiful? I'm like, what is this? But yeah, so that's a Luna Bean. All right, I'm going to put that back in there because I'm like, what the hell is electrical? Because I don't trust anything from Timu. I mean, I don't know. I was going to say I don't trust anything electrical from Timu, but people buy shit from Amazon all the time that comes from directly from China. So that would be like really stupid to say. But yeah, so all right. So there's my haul. I need to go get my fucking life together because wifey is rushing me. And I knew we, I knew we were going grocery shopping. So part of it's that, but I feel like I've been busy all goddamn morning trying to get the vlog and shit done and everything. And I just feel like I'm being rushed now. So I will see you all after bed. I need to go get changed, go get dressed, do all that good stuff. So I'll see y'all later. All right. So here is our lunch. We stopped at this local barbecue place and they have ocean, like ocean fries, boardwalk fries. And then they only have this cream of crab soup Fridays and Saturdays. It is so good. It's my favorite cream of crab soup. And then they have like pit, um, pit food. So this is a uh, pit, pit, pit chicken. Yeah. So I got turkey. Brayden got turkey. They got beef. So this is our lunch. And their fries are well salty too. They're good. Yeah. I need the apple cider vinegar though yeah. this is life after gastric bypass that's like all i could eat two maybe three bites out of my sandwich quarter cup out of the or quarter bit out of the soup some fries i've been sitting here for like 45 minutes picking at it because it's so good. but i've also noticed that i started eating a little bit faster again which is causing me to eat more and then like i am in excruciating pain after i eat so we're trying not to do that. We're not trying to do that anymore. Okay, so I kind of did a thing today when we went grocery shopping. I still gotta put groceries away, okay. but look at this. So I told you guys the other day, my girlfriend sent me a message and she's like, Ray, did you know that Hidden Valley has all these different ranches? And I said, no. So she sent me a list of them. Walmart had them, they're like five bucks a piece, but I got all of them except for one. The only one they didn't have was the Parmesan Ranch. That's the only one they didn't have. 
So we have <laughs> the Buffalo. We have the Nashville Hot. We have the Cheez-Its, which I am super, super curious. There's like a coupon for Cheez-Its on there. We have the garlic. I'm like excited for that one. The jalapeno. We have the hot honey ranch. And we have the dill pickle ranch. So we have all Ex well, all except for one. The only one we don't have is the Parmesan. I didn't see that one. They didn't have that one. But there they are. The only thing is, though, I don't want to open them all because then I have to keep them all in the refrigerator and I don't really have the space to keep them all in there. And I don't want them to get bad. So... I'll probably just do some here and there. Maybe do like, I don't know, just do a couple of them. I don't know, but they might be like really good. Like I feel like the garlic ranch would be good on like sandwiches and stuff. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's get this haul underway. We went to the grocery outlet and we went to Walmart. So the things that I'm not gonna show is just basically the ferret litter, we got cat food, we got wet cat food, we got dry cat food, hubby sodas that are on the steps, ferret litter, ferret food, um, a few little things that wifey had already taken upstairs, but this is just the main meat and potatoes of everything, <laughs> so let's get this All right, going. So, this is my soap. I have my soap and I finally got my damn travel placards. So this, I wanna put one in my purse and one in my work bag because I had a piece of food in my teeth at work and it hurt so bad. Um, more freezer bags. So I stocked up on my frozen broccoli florets since that rotten biochemical chicken ruined my, the rest of my little bit of broccoli. I got two bags of chopped spinach. There is this keto breakfast type deal doodad thing that I want to make that I saw. So I got some chopped spinach to put inside of it. Baby wipes for my arse. This was at the grocery outlet. This was only $9. It is um, chicken wings. Just little, the little chicken wings. But it's like a whole five pound bag so we can season them and do what we will with them grapes are peppers carrots celery um a mixed bag with some broccoli our bananas a huge thing of sour creme because hubby wants a whole bunch of um dips made um milk get that boy some milk um Chicken breast fillets, little chicken breast patties, basically. Um, these will just be for like a quick night. And actually, I really want to make like a chicken parmesan type thing, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Eggs, wifey soda, and um, I needed filters for the fish tank. So I'm going to use those coming over here. I got some more grapefruits. I've been eating these every day. And hubby wanted these like grill things for the uh, Blackstone. So we got those. Hubby also wanted some Frito scoops with some salsas. So we got two different kinds. Wifey's trail mix. Um, they want me to make some tortilla chips too for like salsa. And I'm going to make this chili dip as well. Um, Bonza pasta because we were out stocked up because I had used my last thing of uh, Che's. <laughs> noodles. Oodles of noodles. And then these are our dips. Wifey well, grabbed these, I'm like, like we need any more ranch. <laughs> uh, but the vegetable dip. So we got those. Hubby's burritos. 
cornstarch because I was damn near out. Wifey got her manwich because she loves manwich. These were only 70 some cents. I got four cans of hot dog chili sauce because there's this uh, chili dip I want to make and I need that. And I got a can two packs of can. I tried to write on here because God forbid if people can leave my shit alone. I have no idea where any of my Sharpies went. But I wanted to make a grilled chicken Caesar salad pizza. You're probably like, ew. Seriously, hear me out. You take the canned chicken, you make the chicken into a pizza crust. Then you take your Caesar salad mix with chunky pieces of Parmesan. You put it on top. You don't cook it. You just cook the bottom part and you make like a pizza out of it. Like the salad's still cold. But you make like a little pizza. But I was thinking like maybe doing like little maybe cups or something. I don't know. But it looked good. And I wanted to make it. So okay. Deli meat. And more deli meat. Hubby steak sauce. Um, a loaf of bread. Our 647 bread. And then I got a pecan pie crust. Because I was thinking about making a pie. I was going to make a, pud a pudding pie. A pecan pudding pie. So I don't know, but I'm going to do that. But yeah, so and I got my And just a side note, like, I mean, I know everybody knows how expensive groceries are. Like this was like 300 something dollars for all this stuff. I mean, like I said, there is, you figure the cat food itself was probably $40 between the case of uh, 40. <laughs> God damn, that scared the shit. I almost pissed my pants. Oh, that scared me. Um between the uh it's like only one or oh my god i don't like dropping everything between like the very few little itty bitty things um that we got like or the big things like like i said the cat food the bag of cat foods damn near 20 and the wet foods 20 we'll say um so that's like 40 bucks right there the ferret stuff wifey said that's another 40 that's a hundred dollars right there for four things for the most part, pretty much. And you throw in the filters, which was $10. So there you go. There, like I said, 100 bucks right there. You add in taxes and shit. So it's $100 right there just for the shit that you need. You know what I'm saying? So <gasps> Loki. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These animals. These animals. All right. I have to move this dehydrator. Um, I have to pee. <laughs> so... I'm going to go do that and then go put the rest of these groceries away and I'll catch you all later. All right, friends, it is time. Fucking finally. Um, I'm going to start putting my beef in the foodie. Right, we're going to start. I put these in the freezer. So if you're like, Il Rey, are you sure they're still good? I put them in the freezer for the most of the week and I just took them out yesterday. They still feel like really freaking cold. All right, I don't even remember what flavor this is. But this is really thin meat. This should be like super extra seasoned. So I am going to lay the meat on the trays. Oof. Get a nice piece of jerky there. And uh, start getting them and get them up in the dehydrator all right so I'm gonna lay these out so these are like thin like cut really thin and then like I said we'll just we'll see how these end up turning out y'all it said I so it didn't come with a cookbook which I thought that it would like with a time and temp guide but it didn't so, um, I Googled it. It said 165, definitely. It said 165 on numerous sites and for like four to six hours. So we'll check it in four hours and then we'll take it, take it from there, I guess. It said blot any access. Um, so I don't know. It said not to overlap either. So I definitely don't want to overlap the meat. So 
All right, guys. All right. I'll get this stuff on the trays. And I will check back in. All right, I got all of my trays in here. Got them all in there. So I don't even remember what the flavors are. But here we go. We're going to close that up. All right, temp. Oh, that's time. So it's got to be... Oh, it only goes up to 167. Okay. Time. We'll do five, five and a half hours. And start. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. All right. It's at 167. So it said 165 but we'll do 167. I should have did one in the oven too, but this is pretty big. So we'll see. All right, Miss Shima, you said you got the same one. Let's see how it is. All right, back to putting the groceries away. Tonight is actually WrestleMania, tonight and tomorrow night. So hubby and wifey are gonna come down and we are going to watch WrestleMania. So Brayden is working on the living room. So everybody has a place to sit and partake in the festivities. And I think I'm going to make a veggie tray. And um, that way we have like veggie dip and stuff like that, like shit to like snack on and everything. So, I don't know. Mm, it smells really good. It smells really good. All right guys. Just checking in. We got our jerky started. And um, I'll see you all after be it. You cannot tell me my cats don't love me. Binkies. Nixie. <coughs> Loki. Callie. How you doing, Binkies? What? What? Oh, here's Thor. He just came back. He was in the living room. Ah, ooh. He was just in the living room um, aggravating Brayden with the broom because Brayden's in there sweeping. Wait. What, well, honey? So, yeah, they're all, all, wherever I am, they are. That's why I say I could never hide from anybody because they would give me away. They want to be where I am. Always. Always and forever. I need to switch out these fishing filters. So I got everything put away except for the ranches and the vegetables because I'm going to make like a little veggie tray. And then I left two hot dog chili sauces out because I'm going to mix this with a creme cheese, which I should probably take out now. So I'm going to take out a creme and I did take out okay. which I actually did take out um, some shredded cheese from the freezer so I think this will be good but yeah so I'm gonna go sit down and relax for a few minutes and um, I'll see y'all soon it smells so good in here with that food dehydrator going Raiden made us a table out of our Amazon boxes. Get her, Thor. I know. There goes her flagpole. As soon as you say your name, her tail goes up. Is he going to do it again? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We got our own wrestling match. Go get him. Go help him, Loki. Ah. I need to. Of course, here comes Binky. The Binky Boos. What are you doing? Thor, you will loaf anywhere. Oh, he is cranked up. <laughs> I remember that round Ronda Rousey stuff. No, nope. you're just gonna stretch out. Thought you're gonna do the butt wiggle. As soon as I go back to my Monopoly game, you're gonna wiggle again. All right, what is up, good people? I'm gonna pop you up here in the cabinet. You cabinet dwellers. Um, we are watching WrestleMania, but I'm getting ready to make my chili dip. I'm literally taking a block of softened cream cheese, two cans of chili, and some cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna put it in the oven and let it bake until it's all nice and bubbly and all that good stuff. So I have my softened cream cheese. Okay, so I got my cream cheese in here. I'm gonna take one can and mix it and then put the other can on top. Okay, so I mixed in the cream cheese and the can of chili. I think this might be enough, but I already op opened the other can. So, we're just gonna mix it in. All right, I got my chili cheese dip. And now I'm going to add my cheese and then I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it until it's nice and warm and toasty and bubbly and all that good stuff. And then I'll start chopping my veggies for the veggie tray. What's up beautiful souls? It is midnight. We just got done watching, uh, well, WrestleMania was over. I totally forgot it was like today and tomorrow because growing up, I've always been used to them just being on Sunday night. Like it would start at seven and it would go until like 11, 12 o'clock. No, no, they split it in half. And the last match was really, really good. There was a couple of matches. The tag team uh, ladder match was pretty good. The women's... Uh, Match was pretty good, but my Irish queen should have won. Anyway, so I made jerky and I have it here and it tastes really good. We've all like been munching on it all night. You can't tell which is which. Well, this one is the soy that I made and this one is the smoky apple one. But it's weird because now I didn't spray these and I probably should have. I'm gonna wash them and stuff, but the first rack, which was like right at the very top, like some of it stuck really, really bad and I can't get, like I've been now, I'm like been picking it off, but I kind of low-key want to try to make, <laughs> Mind you, anyone? I kind of low-key want to try and make uh, fruit roll-ups. I think that would be good. Dehydrate them. But I only have frozen vegetables. I mean, frozen fruit. So. Oh, well, yeah. I need to clean them and wash them up. Hubby came downstairs and saw my collection of uh, Hidden Valley Ranch bottles, and he just shook his head. He's like... He's like, you're ridiculous. I'm like, what do you want from me? Have you met me? You've only been with me for how many years? Brayden's excited. Anyway, I need to put the dishes away. I'm gonna wipe this out. I need to unplug it because I need to get into the chest freezer, but 
I don't know where I'm gonna put the dehydrator, but I might have to do some reconfiguration because I need, I'm need. i gonna have to be able to get to it because hubby's gonna wanna use it all the time. So, but that is really good. I didn't know Mishima had one and she says it's a really good one and it is really, really good. It's better than my old one. So, cause my old one has still probably been drying because we used to take dry jerky and it would have taken like all day. That only took like four hours five because hubby told me to put it in for one more so i have to pee so but i just wanted to check in i got bo eggs boiling for the week like i said i gotta do dishes and do the dishwasher and stuff so. all right my most beautiful gorgeous people i need to take my makeup off come come on let's go take the makeup off oh okay I'll put you all up here. We'll take my makeup off real quick. Um, tomorrow I have laundry to do. I need to get ready for the week. I need to figure out where I'm putting the dehydrator. And all that good stuff. It shouldn't be that hard for this makeup to come off. I need to wash this one. Start using this one. This one isn't my favorite. I got like this sample pack with like all the different um, micellar cleansing waters. And the yellow one seems to be my favorite. I've done not this blue one, but there's another blue one. I've done that one and I did the pink. But this one has been my favorite so that's what I use to clean this blank palette so okay I'm going pee all right I just went to the pee pees it's time to go to bed do y'all want to go to bed you ready to go lay down for the night I know you are Vinkies you're not gonna keep me up so, tomorrow, oh, I need to find my pie pan. I need to find it. And I'm going to put all the cat bowls in the egg pot because they need to soak overnight. And that'll be fun. Where's the other bowl? Oh, it's over there. Because I need to wash the baby's bowls in the morning. Am I the only one who washes, like, their animals food bowls every day every meal well I can't say every meal because there's sometimes I don't do every meal I'm not even gonna lie so but they start the day with a clean bowl and I usually rinse them out if they're like really bad for dinner Nixie Nixie Everybody loves the jerky, by the way. It was really good. So, did I tell you guys that? I don't know. All right, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I love you guys all so, 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 so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.